Hi, um, so we're back to optimization problems here again. Um, in this question, it's asking us to find the maximum volume of a cylinder that can fit into a sphere. So I would have a picture like this. Uh, that's my sphere. This is my cylinder. Uh, what I want the cylinder to do is to maximize it. So it has to be kind of in the middle. This has to um, center also with the sphere so we can maximize this volume. Let's say my cylinder has a radius of R and my um, actual sphere has a radius of R. And as I just discussed a little bit uh, in the beginning of the um, video, I said that this has to be in the middle. Therefore, if this is the height of the cylinder from this part to this part, this, is, this would be half of the height. So um, that's basically how the picture is going to look like. Now what I need to do whenever I have an optimization problem, if you've seen my previous uh, videos before, the first thing to do is to write what we're optimizing or maximizing or minimizing. It's the volume of the cylinder. So I need to write an equation for the volume of a cylinder, which is pi r of the cylinder to the power of squared times h. and which is the height of the cylinder. Now the second part of in doing an optimization um, problem is to write that uh, the first equation in terms of only one variable. Now either in terms of only r or h. Now in order to do that I have to use what's given in the, in the actual equation to um, rewrite this equation in terms of only one variable. And we do that because if we have to maximize it and have to take the derivative of it, when I take the derivative, I can't have the equation in terms of more than one variable. Now, I can maybe use my picture here to um, write a relationship between r, h over 2, and the big R here. And since I have a right angle triangle here, I can use Pythagorean theory and write h over 2 to the power of 2 plus small r to the power of 2 equals big R to the power of 2. Therefore, I can rearrange for r squared and write big R squared minus h squared over 4. And that would be... Um, I can write this instead of r squared in my original equation for the volume. Now, r is given to be 6 centimeter, and I'm going to plug that at the um, in the last step of um, what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to rewrite the volume equation in terms of one variable. So I'm just going to leave pi where it is. Instead of r squared, I'm going to write big R squared minus h squared over 4 times h. Now, in order to clean this up a little bit, I'm just going to expand h into this equation. And I'm going to get pi times r squared h minus h cubed over 4. And um, I'd like to uh, write the biggest power first, so don't mind me. I'm going to rearrange this. And write it like that. So that's my volume equation and um, if I were to actually plug in my data here I will have pi minus h cubed over 4 plus r to the power of 2 is 36 centimeters times h and that's the volume of cylinder. Now the last step of doing this uh, pretty much in order to um, take the derivative. I have to take the derivative of the volume equation to be able to maximize it and put it equal to zero. Now um, that will equal to, I'm just going to p keep pi outside of the bracket since uh, I'm taking the derivative and pi is just a constant. The derivative of negative one-fourth of h cubed would be negative three-fourths of h squared plus the derivative of 36h would just be 36. And that's basically what I have. Now, um, in order to f solve this,
So what I need to do is to put in the equation for um, the derivative that I found, pi negative 3 fourth of h squared plus 36 equal to 0 and solve for h. So um, in order to do that, I know that the, what's inside the bracket, since this is a number, what's inside the bracket needs to equal to 0. So negative 3 fourth of h squared equals negative 36. Or let's just write it like this, plus 36 equals 0. And then I move 36 to the other side. So minus 3 fourth of h squared equals minus 36. And the minus sign and the minus sign is going to cancel out. So my h squared is going to be equal 36 times 4 divided by 3. 36 divided by 3 is 12 times 4 is 48. So since h squared is 48, h is plus minus square root of 48. And since I have that and h is just the side of my cylinder, I will accept a positive number and that will be my h. Now, in order to find r, I'm going to back to what my um, equation was. So I found r squared equals, let's go back, r squared minus h squared over 4. And what I need to do is to plug in the h into this equation and solve for r. Now I can do that here. So r squared is 36, which was, this was 6 centimeters, right? And h squared would just be 48 divided by 4. So I will have 36 minus 48 divided by 4 is just 12. And r squared is going to be 24. r would be plus minus of 24, so I will just accept the positive and r would be the square root of 24. My maximum volume of the cylinder is pi r squared h, so pi times 24 times square root of 48, which is going to be, I can do that on my calculator, if I could just find pi on my new calculator, so pi times 24 times 48 square root, which will give me 522.4 centimeters cubed. So that's the maximum volume of a cylinder that I can fit into a sphere with a radius of r equals to 6 centimeters. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.